we're here in my workshop and I'm going to show you some of the stuff that a saddle fitter like me has in their workshop. So sit back, make yourselves a cup of tea and hopefully enjoy having a nose around. I'm not going to lie, my workshop isn't quite the same as everyone else's workshop. For starters, I have a pink bench and it's quite full of like little trinkety things and a lot of motivational quotes. Let's start behind the door. Here is a picture of some Highland ponies. Why Highland ponies, I hear you ask. Well, because I like Highland ponies. Now this here, this here is called a clam. Can we see it? And what it does is we sit with this bit here between our legs there, sit down, we put this bit between our legs and the bit of leather we're stitching goes up through here and we do the little stitches in through there and it just holds the leather kind of tight. Now the whole way around my shed I have lots of things called um, from The Little Prince. This is my favourite book. If you've not read The Little Prince, read it, it's brilliant. I have an absolute ton of motivational stickers motivational postcards, motivational, motivational, motivational. And another thing that I love, other than The Little Prince, is Alice in Wonderland. So I've got some Alice in Wonderland cups. This is a little box that the cups came in, full of my junk. And some more Alice in Wonderland. There we go. Whilst we're in this corner, this here is my Pinocchio nose. And he holds all the leather, well not all of them, he's only got two on at the moment. There's more. But he holds all the leather thread, so he's obviously not meant to be a leather thread holder, he's meant to be a kitchen roll holder. But in my shed, he's the leather thread holder. And these little dingle dangly things you can see here are, they're like little strips of leather. So you can see like, for example, that one there says on it uh, one and one eighth. So what we do with these, is they are to set up, we have like um, a little, we have like a little tool that you cut strips from le of leather from. So the leather is cut from, ba -dum -bum. can you see this here? This is a big sheet of leather. It's called a leather butt. There's a brown one and a black one and another one somewhere. So they are leather butts and they're big, like the side of a cow basically. And then to cut strips out, so for example, if we were gonna cut a one inch strip, we would get our little cutter and we'd use the one inch, that one there, we'd use a one inch one of them to set the cutter up and to like to tell us how wide to do the cutter and then we'd then use the cutter to cut the strips out of the leather. So that's what, if you ever see these dingle dangly things hanging in the back of the video, that's what they're there for. What else is down here? We've got a few, these little tacks there just to tack things in. Oh, there's spider. So this is, this here is what's called a curved awl. It's used to like make holes in a curved kind of direction. Leather knife, very sharp, don't touch it. One of my favourite tools, this is called a pricker. You put it down like that and you bang it. You see it's been banged a lot, it's head's gone funny. You bang it and it makes the holes for you to stitch through. Leather knife, another one. This is one of my favourite tools. This is like, can you see? This kind of edges, let's find a bit of leather. So this kind of edges the leather, so you get it, it sort of, get it on the leather. And it kind of takes that little edge off, do you see that? And it takes that little edge off. So then that edge of the leather now, it's got a nicer, sort of more rounded edge instead of having like a completely square edge. Yeah, see? These little cute things in here, these are the like things we used to dye the edges of leather. You dip it in dye and you rub it down the edges of the leather. Lots of other tools like nail removery things, staple removery thing. Um, lots of bits and bobs from these are, these are the little packs, all the needles come in. This stuff here, this pink stuff, is because I was going to make my daughter some pink rubbery reins. 
um, some elastic for her balance support reins, biophane. This is like the webbing stuff that girth straps go on to, some more biophane rain stuff. This here is a little magic pot and it's magnetic so things stick to it. See? And in here is lots of needles. Like big ones, curved ones, little curved ones. Um, big ones. Oh, this here. This is the end of an awl. This is meant to be in a handle. So this goes into, you get like an empty handle like that. And you get your little curved awl like that. And you have to put that in there. So that's waiting to go in there. Here's another little awl. This one is a straight one. So this is what we use to make like holes in leather. So sometimes, for example, when you're stitching up the front of the saddle, you can push this through and it makes the hole then ready for your little needle to go through. Make the hole with the awl and then you put the needle through the hole you've already made. And then this curved awl here, you would use this curved one to make something for a curved needle. So a needle like that or a needle like that, that would go through a hole that the curved awl had made and then a straight needle would go through a hole that the straight awl had made. Does that, does that make sense? So yeah, that's what they're for. The awls will make a hole and then the needle follows the hole through. Yeah. Underneath this bench is flocking. So that there is long fibre white wool. This is what we put in saddles that have the white wool in. And this here is the Jacob's wool. It's like greyer and it's slightly different consistency. And there's pumpkin, eating some. Standard pumpkin. Here is a tree. So this is a tree of a saddle. This is what goes inside the saddle, being held up by a rather funky little man there. Um, and then this here is a rawhide mallet. So you know rawhide that some dogs use? It used to be made out, but not so much anymore because it's bad for them. Um, that's a mallet made out of that, hanging in a tree. So that little man there, he has some brothers and sisters over here. This one's also holding up a tree. And this one's got some stirrup leathers on it. There's Pumpkin having a sleep. It's all Pumpkin ever seems to do is sleep. Look at that. Look at that. What else is there in here? So we've seen, oh, up here, look. So these are little drawers full of like trinkety things. And they've got things like uh, clips and stuff in there for head collars, um, some dye. I wouldn't ever recommend using dye yourself because it goes because it goes a little bit wrong if you do it yourself. Little drawers, lots of motivational stuff. Down here, so this is this is a pretty end. This is the end where the mess starts. So down here we've got some girth straps flapping around. That's the airbag out of a uh, Wintech saddle that's there from a video I did. Some cap cleaning stuff. Who, you, who else uses a toothbrush to clean tack? You should do, it's good. Some sponges that we've been trialling. Some dye stuff. Oh, little old book, look at this. How old is this cute little book? Leather work. But you know what? Even though it's like about 120 bazillion, bazillion years old. A bit rude. It actually is, um, a lot of it is still really, really, really relevant. It does make handles and bags. This here is pretty groovy. Groovy? What decade am I in? This is like all the measurements that you need for things. So like if you're making, for example, here we go. High ring grackle nose band. That's all the measurements that you need. Normal grackle nose band. Uh, bonfire nose band. Kinetin nose band. So all the measurements that you need for those sorts of things. Oh, in that book. Very good little book written by David May. Lovely chap. Uh, back, back. No idea why. Today's motivational quote, we shall never know all the good that a simple smile can do. Everybody needs a daily inspirational quote. Here is my little Alexa. Shh, don't say her name. She listens when you say her name. That's the Alexa. <laughs> Lots of little... Mm. Rubbish, mess, 
random things, some stirrups, no idea why, some bandages, no idea why. Oh, who knows what this, oh, hang on, who knows what this grey thing, meow, oh, no, hang on, what this grey thing here is. Do you know why that's in here? Anybody know? Top marks for you if you do. Tell me. If you do, if you know why that's in here, what it's there for, here's a clue. I'm going to use it in a video. What am I going to, what video am I going to do that in? What could it be? So a little thank you pictures from Emily Villa, who's a little carriage driver. We love her. And Zoe Smith, another thank you picture from her. She does show jumper. Here is a saddle that's come in for re-dyeing, we can see here. So it used to be like it used to be like a like a green, like a greyish green colour. It's really faded. That's going back to black at the moment. Some other saddles in for repair. Another tree. We've got up, up there, look. We've got a little bit of sound deadening from because when I do my videos here, deadens the sound a little bit. And there we go. Not very exciting, is it? I think that's about it. That's my workshop in my shed. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs>